Hi everybody, Chris at AMS, hope you're all well. Uh, just doing a video, I haven't done one for a while on a diagnosis that I'm carrying out on a 2008 Jaguar XF. Uh, custom complaint is that the battery is going flat. Um, it takes a couple of days, but yeah, then it's uh, flat, as a, flat as a dodo. Um, done a parasitic draw test, so at the battery, uh, and after the vehicle's gone to sleep, which has taken about 40 minutes or so, uh, 40 minutes to an hour, the drain is about 350 milliamps, which is quite high. Uh, the average, what you really want to see is probably about somewhere between 30 and 50 milliamps. Uh, first thing I do generally, if I have a battery drain, is I will go around the vehicle with one of these. This is my thermal imaging camera. This one's made by Snap-on. Um, and what I'm looking for is any heat spots. Uh, heat is generally, yeah, on electrical components is because it's drawing current. So I'm looking for any current hotspots. So on this, I don't know how well we're going to see this, line this up kind of thing. Um, this is in the driver side kick panel uh, on top of the fuse box. And if we go down here like so, it is actually, let's go like that. This component right here which looks like to be a joint earth supply um, now if you look in here um, one of the things that you probably look for first is aftermarket wiring which we can find by aftermarket fuses and wires and the such like uh, at the moment at the moment I would say uh, what I'm going to attempt is to disconnect this and to see if it cures our drain. Uh, it looks to me to be some form of alarm stroke tracker, perhaps something like that kind of thing. Um, but at the moment, I'm still tracking it down. So let's see what happens if we manage to disconnect that and see what that does to our drain. Lovely. One thing that we've sussed out whilst uh, doing the stripping down and getting to all the bits of wiring, that this fuse that they've wired in here, how I can see that without the torch, that one there, uh, with that disconnected, uh, it is preventing the vehicle from starting. So it's, I would say, an aftermarket alarm system that is uh, hooked into the immobiliser the starter circuit so it's stopping it from starting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it out reconnect it as it should be and uh, make sure it starts and then I think we'll recheck for a drain from there lovely right so that's all the wiring cut out and uh, I've resoldered the wires that were affecting the immobilizer system back together uh, nicely soldered and heat shrunk and done properly um, this here is the relay that we could see under the dashboard with the thermal imager that was staying warm um, and you can see this this bit wiring and there's a little sounder buzzer sounder thing um, and then the fuse that we discussed uh, so that's all chopped out um, I've tested the vehicle does start now everything's wired back in together as it should be uh, and what I've done is I've put it on for the drain test uh, so the, all the doors are latched closed, bonnets latched closed, boots latched closed, uh, and I've got uh, our multimeter set on amps uh, to look for the drain. Literally, the vehicle has been asleep for probably 10 minutes, I'd say, something like that. Actually, I did a timer. Well, not even that, about four minutes. And if we can have a look at our multimeter, we can see that we've got it's fluctuating a little bit, but we've got somewhere between 15 and 30 milliamps as a drain. So it might not be fully, fully asleep. That might be uh, the network just chatting around a little bit, but I'm sufficiently happy to say that the drain has been cured. So the battery shouldn't be going flat overnight. Um, Tiggity boo, all fixed, all rectified, all done properly. Uh, please check out the other videos that we've got on our YouTube channel. Also, uh, 
subscribe, hit the like button kind of thing. Uh, have a look at our Facebook and Instagram as well, uh, AMS Mobile UK. You can find that under if you search for. Um, see you in the next video. Take care.